Today I get to feed my gambling addiction and break something. That includes new stuff. Every time we beat the game, we unlock a new apartment. This one means rent payment 7 costs 25 more. I plan on having 25,000 more by that point. Since we have a miner, let's take a miner. Then he can process geodes. Then we also took a toddler who's going to eat candy for us. When he decides he doesn't want to eat candy anymore, we will destroy him. I'm also going to add a banana peel just to get me some kind of value for now. More bad choices, so let's take an owl. So those very basic things gave us 31 coins when we needed 25. And since we have a sapphire already, we'll take it. That gives us 2 coins per symbol. And then the blue pepper can actually make us a lot of money right now. It gives 3 coins if there are at least 3 blanks. I'm no mathematician, but I'm pretty sure there's at least 3 blanks on that reel. And that will allow us to actually be a little more picky at this point. We don't really have to take things yet because at least three of these blanks are worth something. Here's the kind of thing we're looking for, a golem. Destroys itself after five spins, adds five ores at that point which my miner can eat. So that's a good investment in five spins. And then for now we're going to add maybe a three-sided die just because that can give us one to three for an average of two. And there's another ore, so we're going to give that to the miner, and I believe it gives us 10 gold every time he eats one of those. So if we just keep feeding him ores, we'll be okay. We needed 50, we have 77. That's a decent start. Then the buffing capsule destroys itself, doubles the value of things around it, and then we're maybe just going to take the lucky cat, because we have a cat on the reel. That's just more luck for more rare crap. The golem broke, so the miner just ate three separate ores, so that gave us a total of 56 already. So we need 100, we already have 103, I don't really want any of that. And I do want three blank reels for now because we still get value for that. So we're going to skip that one for now, hopefully my miner continues eating and we're going to make lots of money just off things like that, 41. And we're going to take another ore, just because they'll either get eaten or they'll turn into something very valuable. Do we want a goose? Go away! So we need a 100, we have 208. So far my strange rock eating strategy is actually working. A safe is tempting because that gives an easy... 30, but we're just going to take a buffing capsule for now. And then we're going to take the yellow pepper, gives 2 coins if none of the symbols are blank. Which is going to be pretty soon because we're going to get pretty full of reels, but there's a spin for 42 already. What I need is the geologist, whatever it's called, who can eat these low value symbols. For now I'll take them, but eventually I'm going to need something that's worth more than 1. That spin was worth 31, tempted to get a second miner, but I don't think it's going to be worth it. Maybe a bear for now because he does give two. We need to keep some value on the reels or we're going to fall behind. Then we're going to take an item capsule because we'll take whatever it is that wants us... Oh, the lockpick. So now any safes or anything are going to have a 1 in 3 chance of being destroyed. Then we'll take a tedium capsule. Destroys itself, gives 5 coins when destroyed. At least one of the symbols we add after this will be common. Which they're going to be anyway because I'm not very far into the game or lucky. So we needed 150, we have 280. This is a very good start. And since I do have a toddler on the board, maybe we should take the pinata. Then of all our item choices, the lunchbox is probably going to be the best. Swear jar is only good if we're spinning less than 30, and we're not really doing that a lot. I need that pinata to land next to the toddler. Also going to need to start finding better symbols than these. These shiny pebbles should start filling themselves out soon, but the toddler did get the pinata, so there's 57. Then we're going to go ahead and take a safe, because that's going to be destroyed within 3 rounds. Toddlers are enjoying the candy. 30. I am going to take a rabbit fluff for now just because it gives two coins and makes me find rare stuff. We already are starting to get lots of luck. Five sided die is tempting, we're going to take a chemical seven because I think that's the second one of those we have. Then I'm going to skip on these and I think I'm actually going to destroy these pearls. Better yet, I'm going to destroy a cherry and then probably also this banana peel. Mostly because I think the pearls can stack with shiny pebbles later if we get the right drops, which we will eventually. The safe opened, there's 56. So we're going to replace that probably with another safe. There's a toddler eating a candy though, there's another 31. We need a 225, we have 381. Then we're going to take a removal capsule, that just gives me an item removal thing. Then I'm going to take Nori the rabbit, because rabbit and rabbit fluff gives one coin more. That means the rabbit fluff now gives three instead of two, and that's actually pretty valuable. The toddler's finishing off the candy, so I think I'm probably going to destroy the toddler now. While also taking a big ore for the miner, but yeah, let's go ahead and remove the toddler, he's had his fun. Then we're going to keep spinning, I have three blank spots on my reels still. But that's okay, we will eventually fill them with something worthwhile. Luckily we are far enough ahead that we don't really need to get too worried yet, but I do need to be remembering. We're going to need more. We're going to take Rabbit Fluff because that's worth three right now. And that's just a lot of extra luck, so hopefully we'll start finding some diamonds. This is definitely going to be a gem type run. We're going to boost the gems all we can. There's another 47. I guess I'll take a five sided die right now. I don't always love these, but when I give five, I certainly do love them. There's three sapphires now for 53. 
I also don't need to remove, use my removal capsule yet because my reels aren't even full. But we needed 300, we have 438. But now we're getting somewhere. Uh, we could take a bartender who's going to give us 3 per spin and has a chance of adding these things. I don't want alcohol cluttering up my reels. We're just going to take a very rare watermelon for now. The mining pick is interesting because it's going to just break these basically automatically. But I don't think I get the value if that happens. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go red pepper. This is going to sound stupid, but I'm actually going to take a shiny pebble for now. Just to boost my luck a little bit and fill in these reels. There's no sense in having any blank spots. Oh, and there's Highlander. Very rare, worth six. Definitely going to put one of those on the reel. But as I learned before, I need to be able to multiply my rare symbols. They can't just sit there, but there's a very rare golden arrow. Which is kind of tempting to take, because multipliers are multipliers. But we could also take a mine, which adds ore after every spin. My miners eat the ore, destroys itself after four spins, and then adds a pickaxe once it's destroyed. I accidentally clicked back onto my monitor, and we now have a golden arrow, so whatever. You can definitely feel that luck right now though with the rare symbols we're getting. Even when the golden arrow hits just that, that gave me an extra 6, so that's probably really worth it. I just need the golden arrow to land on all the good stuff, like a watermelon. Well, on a better note, we just found a very rare mega chest. I haven't found these very often, gives 100 coins when destroyed. But here's another golem for my miner to eat. That's going to give me five ores once it's destroyed, and I'm really looking forward to that part of things. Mega chest still didn't break, but that's going to give me a lot. Not going to worry with the lockbox, probably not going to worry with any of that, and might as well just take a wealthy capsule for now because that's just easy value. So that doubled the rabbit fluff and everything there, but there's 165 because my chest broke, which is definitely pretty good. And we're just going to keep on going, hoping to get more rare symbols. And since I think my reels are full, let's remove the owl, and maybe that's it for now. I guess if there's one thing that I should have learned over the years, it's take little steps. Don't dive into things wholeheartedly. But that's not going to stop me. Okay, we should have multiplied the value of the watermelon. My thing's broken. It pointed to the watermelon, which didn't give me any boost. That should have been 16. So I might end up removing the golden idiot because he's not doing anything. That miner's going to be very happy though for all the crap he's about to eat. That was worth 61. There's the miner again getting very happy. We're going to need someone to start eating all these pearls though. And we do actually have a bear and I've never had a bear eat the honey before. So he's going to be very happy once he gets a chance to do that. But the thing worked on the honey. We got 12 for it there. We needed 425. We have 543. We're losing our lead. We've got to do better. There's a beast master, but I don't really have any beasts for him to multiply. The bear being the best one. So we'll take an omelet for now. Then we'll take a purple pepper. Gives five coins if three or more of the same symbol are adjacent and not blank. Well, we have lots of shiny pepper, pebbles, and pearls. So that might actually be a good multiplier eventually. Oh, the bear ate the honey and a bunch of things happened there. So that was 111. Then I'm going to take chemical 7 number 3 because when that pops we're going to have 3 of our lucky 7s and I think that's worth 77. The value for that spin 152. If you've ever wondered if there's a difference between the void creature and the void stone, there's not. We're going to take a void creature just because he's going to destroy himself for my amusement. But we have a lot of low value symbols right now. I'd be tempted to take a bronze arrow but the arrows don't seem to be working super well right now and I don't trust them. When the watermelon get properly multiplied, there we go, 16. Don't want any of that. I think I'm also going to destroy something just to try and get more value onto the board. So we're just going to get rid of a pearl for now. Need less one value coins. I felt for a while like we were getting so lucky finding very rare things and now we're back to like common, uncommon, just bad stuff. We needed 575, we have 735. But this is where it's going to start to get harder for sure. So we're going to take a treasure chest because that's going to open itself. And I don't, none of these are really going to make a difference. So we're maybe going to take a rain cloud. They should become common at that point and we'll hopefully find less of them and therefore more better symbols. I don't know if that makes sense, but it does in my brain and that's all that matters. 66. Then we're going to change all these into a golem for my happy miner. Who could give me a diamond at any point. Should he feel so inclined. In fact, I would take all the diamonds in the world. It would have been great if we could find like one of those guys that eats all these low level gems. We didn't find any, at least not yet. Well, it would give us a diamond in 20 spins. I don't want to wait. We're just going to take a golem and feed my miner. Because that's going to be worth far more. Those are worth 50 gold each once my miner eats them, essentially. We didn't even get the miner on the board that time. I will maybe take another rabbit fluff just to make sure my luck is staying up. There goes the miner. And look at all those shiny pebbles. We gotta find some more very rare stuff eventually. 
We needed 625, we have 662. We're running out of room. Well, I guess we can take a ruby, because that is worth three. The other ones aren't really going to be much help to me. Mrs. Fruit would not be bad. She can eat adjacent fruits and gets better for each one of those she eats. We only have one orange for now, but that's okay. I can continually feed her fruit now and she'll get better. There's 53. And since she eats bananas, we're going to start feeding her that. I'm going to feed her anything I can. Nice of my miner to finally show up again and start eating something. Then let's take an item capsule. You never know what kind of item we're going to get, and sometimes they're pretty good. Then let's take an orange. We've got a lot of symbols, and that's kind of the problem. Okay, she ate the banana, so she gets a boost now. We'll take a buffing capsule there. We just have so many low-level items, and that's kind of concerning me right now. And then even though we have, like, all the luck in the world, common, common, common. But we got 24 for those two symbols. And the first target we found is 10 coins when destroyed. Earlier on, that would be a fine symbol. But right now, it's not going to help us. We got a swear jar. I don't think we managed to put any money in it, though, because we just got it. Uh, Well, unless this has about 120 coins in it, we failed. But I feel like I could put together a good run with a little luck. Okay, this time around, I found a Mrs. Fruit pretty early on. She's going to eat fruit, and every time she eats one, she gets permanently upgraded for that. I also have a bartender who has a 10% chance of adding alcohol. My dwarf is going to drink any low-class alcohol and keep the more expensive stuff around, so this could actually work out to something pretty good. So as long as I can keep adding fruit for Mrs. Idiot, then we're going to be in luck, and then I can start to remove anything non-relevant. So a monkey just ate something there, and so did Mrs. Fruit, so that was 57. And I seem to be getting lucky with the fruit, so we're going to keep going with that. And while I'm at it, I'm going to remove some things like a pearl and then a cultist. Because I need less crap on the board and there's more things that Mrs. Fruit can eat and alcohol for the dwarf. I do also have a symbol that makes toddlers and candy worth twice as much, but I don't have a toddler yet, so I'm not going to bother. There is what I could have used before. Adjacent gems give twice the value. Destroys adjacent, oh, martinis for 35. We definitely want a dame. Now we're going to start to get some of the proper multipliers going. Mrs. Fruit ate another one, so she's already giving six per spin. Then we're going to take an item capsule to hopefully get a pretty good item out of the deal. Well, Rabbit Fluff gives me one coin more, so that's actually pretty good. We needed 300, we have 361. And with the way it's going, we can make just about anything work, but we're going to take a coconut for Mrs. Fruit. Then we're going to take a yellow pepper. That should basically be two free coins just about every spin. Wow, she's going to need a lot of stuff this round. She is now worth 10 per spin. Then I have a lockpick, so I'm going to take the lockbox for now. We don't have a miner to destroy the ores, but she just doubled the value of a diamond, so there's 47 for that spin. This one's definitely setting up pretty good, though, so as long as I hold my luck at least a little bit, there's the dame with another 37, so that was 90 for that spin. We're going to be in good shape. Oh, I just realized how many blank spots we have on the reels. We need to replace those with some better stuff. I guess that's a good problem because Mrs. Fruit ate them all and she's giving 10 per spin already. But, oh, we're going to throw a toddler right now too. He's going to eat the pinatas for big value. There we go. He already ate a few candies. So him just made me 38. So this is working out good. Once the toddler finishes off all his little snacks, we're going to destroy him. But by that point, we should be far enough ahead that I can replace with better symbols. Oh, that toddler's going to go to town. Three different things got eaten there. So he just earned me 50 all by himself. That was worth 99. We need 375, we have 562. There's a rare moon. These can actually be really good. But now we're just going to take rabbit fluff because that's actually worth 3 and makes us more likely to find a rare crap. Then we're going to take the lunchbox because we get to destroy that and add a bunch of stuff that Mrs. Fruit can eat. Like a plum and also a plum and then probably also a cherry. So my idiots should be pretty happy eating whatever they can for now. I still got 4 candies for my toddler to eat. But he'll get to those pretty quick. Then we're maybe just going to take a chemical 7 because that'll give us two of those. Toddler ate one of the things, so he's going to give me a modest 14, 68 total. Toddler's going to continue to eat. Mrs. Fruit's eventually going to continue to eat. And I do have a dwarf that could drink that wine. So I basically need alcohol and fruit. There's more wine for my idiot. And I'm going to have to keep putting lots of symbols on the board because they're going through them very quickly. I think I'm actually going to take a tomb for now just because it's worth three. I might destroy it later, but for now I'll take the bonus it's going to give me. Oh, and I got another uh, chemical sevens. So this spin was worth 149 thanks to my bartender. We needed 425. We have 767. We're just going to take a white pepper, gain three coins whenever we gain a multiple of three after a spin. Look at all the blinks in their reels still so far. We really got to start filling these in. Also, we're going to feed the toddler a candy. Okay, we're going to destroy that monkey because he's actually working against Mrs. Fruit. And we're going to destroy the banana peel because that's not going to help us at all. 53 for that spin. So we're definitely going to have to keep feeding them as much as we can and getting those multipliers. We have five blank spots on our reels. Suddenly I'm a little bit worried. 
We're going to break this safe because that's going to be worth an easy 30. It'll be a better spin, but we still need to be doing better than that. Lucky capsule for a rare symbol because I'm going to need a rare something to help boost me. And the rare symbol was just a witch. So I'm going to take a huge gamble and just keep on spinning and hope that uh, what I have now can carry me through. There's a plum for Mrs. Idiot. Maybe I should take a miner and then I can start taking ores. But now I'm overthinking things. There's another plum. So we're going to use that. She'll eat those eventually. If she eats enough stuff, she'll get so valuable she can carry us all by herself. We need a 575. We have 826. Here's a good one. Chef. He's going to double any of these symbols. Then we're just going to take a gray pepper and give three coins whenever you spend a destroying symbol. Which is going to happen quite a bit. So the chef already doubled the value of a candy and then the toddler ate it. And we've already learned what happens when we use an arrow today, so we're not going to do that. I'm also not going to destroy any symbols just yet because I still need them on the board. She's worth 16 per spin already. We're going to take a lockbox because that's going to open within a few spins. We're going to take a peach now for Mrs. Idiot though. White creature gave me 8. Everything there stack you up nicely for 64. Then we're going to have an orange for Mrs. Fruit. The fruit's really working well. I tend to get a lot of fruit. But Mrs. Fruit's now giving me 18 per spin. 18 out of a single item. So I'm just going to take another one of these for now. Gives 3 coins. Has a 5% chance of adding fires. So we're just going to add fires. Fires are a temporary thing, but they're going to be helpful. Should get one, one in every 10 spins if I'm doing my mental math correctly. Need at 625, have 788. We're losing our headway. But we also just got a bunch of good stuff. Here's the tricky thing. I could use honey. I could use a treasure chest or I could skip for more rares. But I think I'm going to take a treasure chest for now. Then I'm just going to take the dice re-roll. I don't think I even have any dice with my treasure chest already exploded. So this should be a good spin. 117. Also could have taken a pinata because we still have a toddler. But the dice we rolled, everything's stacking up. 66. Then a lucky capsule. So we're going to get a guaranteed rare after this. This is where we can use my item skip thing. Though I'm not going to have to. We have a chicken, but we also have a very rare diamond. So those diamonds are going to stack against each other and the dame can double the value of those. Things are getting complicated, but that's a good thing. So this diamond by itself is worth 12. There's the rare sunshine that I love so much because it multiplies flowers by 5. But we're going to take a coconut instead. That way Mrs. Fruit can eat it and gain her value. Then I'm going to take a reroll capsule. That way we can reroll as much as we want. Then we're going to take a reroll capsule. And at least the reels are finally mostly full. There's 59. Don't want any of that. Uh, I'm also not going to waste any more of my reroll capsules on these because I need to save them for this rare items on the board. And then we're going to take another reroll capsule and we're going to see where we land with everything. So much stuff going on in every spin that I hardly know what to do. We need 675. We have 908. Next, we need 777. We have 233 head start. We need about $550. Here's a good one. Geologist. He's going to destroy the ores and the lower value gems while keeping the big gems. And he gets permanently boosted for every uh, gem he eats. But there's 61. I'll take an item capsule, then be on my way. Pretty soon, well, another 13 spins, 12 spins, we're going to have our next diamond. That's going to help. There's 113, and I don't even know why. Just because we have a lot of pretty high valuable stuff on the board. Lots of diamonds, lots of fires. This is fruit. I've probably looked past a lot of fruit as we've been spinning too. Just because I'm so used to not caring about it. But there's another 49. And we're going to take a orange for Mrs. Fruit. Really just need to keep feeding her lots of stuff. There we go. So she's up to 19. What I do need is a multiplier on her. I also need to remember to start grabbing ores. Because I probably looked past a few of those already. Another delicious turtle. But don't want any of those. Back to spinning. Uh, those things definitely just gave us some fire, so that's pretty good. 84. Don't want any of that. It's giving us lots of animals suddenly. We want fruit. The other edible. Oh, we're out of spins already. We needed 777. We have 943. Then so we're up by over 250. We unlocked floor 3. Yeah, look at that. We got another Mrs. Fruit. We'll take a rare honey for now. And then an anvil. Dwarves give twice as much money and destroy adjacent ores. So that's just going to help me. Because he's taking care of low-value alcohol. And if he can help break ores that my geologist will therefore eat or my dame will double, then things are looking great. Which she already ate for 22. And there's another chef. And anytime you can get multiple multipliers, you might as well take them because that's easy money. And she already ate that. Two fires got destroyed. We need more item destroyers now. That way Mrs. Fruit can eat it right away after its value is doubled. She's up to 24 per spin. Then we'll go for another buffing capsule and hopefully we'll double something good. Well, we doubled a bunch of stuff, but there's an extra diamond on the board. So that's worth 28. Maybe I should just respin here because I can find things like a golem, which will actually add a lot of value once he breaks. 
It's going to be a few spins, but once he does, he's going to flood the reels with all sorts of stuff that I could really use. Mm, we'll throw a sapphire down. Because my geologist will eat a sapphire and get a permanent boost because of it. Here's a coconut for Mrs. Idiot. We're going to need a few good spins to survive here, but my geologist managed to eat a sapphire. She doubled the value of a diamond. 62. See, there's lots of edible things on the board now. We have a few potential multipliers too, so those can add up. Oh, we're 12 short anyway. We're just picking up steam too. That's kind of the sad thing. If we had made $12 more, we might have steamed ahead because of all those multipliers. But at least we won and unlocked floor 3, which just means rent payment 8 costs 25 more.